Well, welcome back everyone, Kremlin Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboids, we're just out here looting around. Um, probably about time to start thinking about heading home though. Where's our car? Where'd I leave the car at? Over here? Oh no, it's up here. I remember now. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the house. It's getting... Late-ish by Zomboid standards. Still no sounds for the car, which is kind of weird. Let's see if we can even remember how to get back to the house. Alright, so I think if I turn here... I think this takes us in the right direction. I don't know, man. Actually, let's cross over this way. Yeah, there's the junkyard, so we need to go this way. I think these fences are like the edge of the property, so... Go down this way. Take a, what for me is a right. Oops. Sorry, zombies. And then just kind of circle around. So I think this works. Yeah, go this way. This way. As long as it's one or two zombies at a time, I feel like it's okay to run them down. Let me go behind this house here to maybe cut down on the chances that they'll actually follow me. Alright. So, what am I carrying that needs to go in here? Also, we're almost completely out of space in the refrigerator. This needs to get frozen. Alright, I'm gonna start putting the food somewhere else because we're running out of space. So we have to start preferentially giving space to the stuff that needs to get refrigerated instead of just throwing all the food in the refrigerator. <laughs> Some sort of crazy person. That cheese and that remoloid actually need to go in the refrigerator. these out. This should really be in the freezer. Fry ramen that can come out. Popcorn can come out. These guys can come out. This should be in the freezer. Peanut butter. Alright, there's some weird noise, like a tink noise that I'm hearing, which I don't like. Like that. Oh, man. Oh. I literally just got a jump scare out of that. It's been a long time since this game has jump scared me like that. I gotta go find out what that noise is. Alright. Whew, man. Had images of the whole run going down the tube right there. Okay, I don't know what that noise was, but apparently we're okay. Let's go deal with this zombie. He's a little, a little closer than I would like.
Doesn't work as well if you both fall down. Anybody else in here? A little bit behind there, music. I already got it covered. Alright, all the food. Gots to come out. Let's put that straight into my main inventory. I don't have to walk very far. This is the this is when you um when you Iron Man the the bags from the car to the house. You got them all dangling from your hands and you're trying desperately to get there before you either the bag breaks or you run out of power. That's what's happening right now. Ham goes in there. Mutton chop goes in the freezer. Orange radish. Rest of it goes over here. Somebody in the comments was praising me for taking the rice, but uh, which I appreciate the praise, but I wouldn't get too excited. There's a I don't know a non-zero chance that I will never actually make the rice. I will just have it. Red nails. I had a conflicting report from somebody else that says that the the weight of um, the weight of nails does not change when you unload them. It just the game itself does not mark down anything that weighs less than 0 0.1, 0 0.01, or whatever it is. They still weigh something, you just can't see it in the, uh, in the tooltip. Which I suppose makes sense. That's shells. I shouldn't overly agonize over this if I'm just going to dump things. The one thing about it was being organized, but we all know that I'm not doing that. Dump it. Oh, I missed the comic books. Oh, that one's basically full. There we go. All right, I need to re eat something. We'll read a little bit and then we'll go to bed. I actually should probably get that um, body out of here before it starts making her depressed. Don't know how far is the right amount of far, but it seems good. Also, have a bunch of rounds for some reason. All right, go upstairs. We'll sit in here and read our book for a little while until she gets properly tired. You like how I re recalibrated recalibrated there because I started to say tired and then she popped up the tired thing so I said properly tired instead that's a pro that's a pro maneuver so I call it pro maneuver why do I have two car keys now 
Am I getting more car keys every time I take the key out of the car? Hopefully they don't weigh anything. Alright, I gotta go to sleep. You know where I would like to go? I'm not entirely sure I know how to get there. I'd really like to go to the... Um, to the country club that was added. Just because I, I think it's neat and I'd like to see it. I know it's south, but I don't know exactly where it is for south. Drop a couple of these bowls off. There's really no reason for me to be carrying three bowls. Or this. Alright, so it's down that way. Like the the um the place we're trying to the the what am I trying to say? The country club is down over here. I know that much from looking at a wider map. So I assume we just try and come in this way and then just head south? I don't know. Make it up as I go along. <laughs> Find myself wanting to press uh, shift here. To get the nitro going. <laughs> Playing too much PUBG. Don't hit the building. There we go. Oh, you guys separated for me. That's very nice. I realized they were in the road and they're like, oh, this is an inconsiderate to be standing in the middle of the road. I should get out of the way. That car might run me over otherwise. Alright, so let's just go this way. Running over the single zombies doesn't really bother me. <laughs> I feel like we're okay with that. That's right, so where am I going? Oh, there's houses right there. I suppose we could go there if we want. I don't know where we are, so. Whoops. We'll just loot here instead. <laughs> Since I don't know where I'm going otherwise. What you got for me? Another knife. Some more canned food. Take one bowl, because I have this vague memory that having four bowls is useful for something. I don't really remember what. Unloading a soup pot, maybe? Alright, take these. This stuff. All right. All right, that place is done. Q 
school bag, pants. Well, that reminds me, we should probably check to make sure our clothes aren't dirty. I would be kind of shocked if they aren't. I guess I'll take the flower too, why not? Alright, do alright. Well, fill our bowl. Oh, our clothes are actually clean. Go figure. I don't need any of that. Yeah. Man, I am twitchy today. I was just in here. I was just in here. All right, done with this house. This house door is open? Why is this house door is open? I mean, I clearly have not been here. That door was open. Alright, that's basically full. That. I think she ever accidentally pokes herself with all these knives when she's reaching into her bag to get something. So, ooh, ow! Sharp. I feel like I would. Nope. Hello, ladies. Double knocks downs a lot lately. I mean, it's not the terrible thing, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Just hitting the, hitting the door with her foot there. Cold pack. Don't need to make a gas or a smoke bomb. I believe that's what those are for. I don't really under, entirely understand it. I guess it's for trying to hide yourself from the zombies, but I don't really feel like smoke bomb is exactly what you need for zombie zombie hideification. Oh, that was smooth. Good job. Oh, it didn't actually break. It just made the breaking noise. Weird. See the back door's unlocked. Nope. So maybe I should take the mouse trap. Not entirely sure what to do with it, other than, you know, catch mice. Oh, I saw somebody in the comments ask about taking the mice for food, or the rats or whatever. Um, the thing about that is that it comes with unhappiness. Eating eating mice and rats for things bums the bums your person out. Oh, the guns! Look at that. Hunting rifle and a survivor rifle. Alright, I should probably remove these. I feel like at least one of those I don't have. 
Put it back in. Oh, can't put it on the body, you know. Whatever. I don't need that. Don't need that thing, though. Okay. Let's do one more house. This is a really long street. Yeah, so I don't know about you, but I would get bummed out if I had to resort to eating mice. Not that it's a terrible thing to have to do, but it just just be kind of, you know, it would be a emblematic of how far things had fallen to pieces, which would make me sad. All right, okay, so we're going to stop here for today, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.